Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a reading for the collective. Collective, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. So collective, somebody stabbed you in the back or somebody's trying to stab you in the back. That's heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, a shocking attack. So something that came out of nowhere, like left field you could have received a phone call text message email somebody saying okay well this person was saying this about you your significant other your child either way it was a person that you did not expect that it would come from and it kind of stung a little bit okay all right so we have healing heart moving on and moving past some of these things Healing from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction. This could be a friendship, a partnership, a relationship, or a marriage. Some type of bond that you had with someone, but either way, healing your heart, mending yourself, and bringing yourself back into wholeness, oneness from yourself. With yourself, actually, not from yourself. Okay, then we have the snake. Like, this whole thing looks like somebody basically is, like, out here doing some real dumb shit. Okay, so competition, enemy, somebody that's being clever, somebody that's also being very malicious, looking over your shoulder and the other woman. So somebody in competition with you, basically, you don't even know. Somebody just doing the most behind the scenes. Somebody trying to be clever or thinking that they're clever. Meanwhile, they continue to keep getting caught because divine keeps pointing them out and they keep being revealed to you. Looking over your shoulder, basically not trusting anybody and making sure that you stay out of the vicinity of the snake and not get bit. So looking down and make sure you're cutting your grass and doing everything that you need to do to be productive, to make sure that these people stay out of your energy. And then we have the other woman. So this is the energy of a man or a female that basically has been brought into your situation unbeknownst to you okay so yeah all right so we have um you see things clearly right now being very clairvoyant paying attention to the red flags and the signs so feeling like you could potentially be really bored with this shit because it makes no sense okay somebody trying to like be in your energy way too much and continue to keep watching you and paying attention to every move you make meanwhile this person don't have no good intentions for you but the person keeps coming off as okay so the frenemy that's what we got we got a frenemy out here um the signs are already with you and bored stifled and stuck okay so you're bored with this shit you're bored with the situation or you could be particularly bored with this person okay either way you're over in time to move on friend all right so the signs are already with you you already see the red flags you already know this person ain't shit okay so let's find out what does the collective need to know about this frenemy Somebody working hard, playing seeds, trying to get you trapped into a situation. The numbers that you could be potentially seeing or looking out for is 4, 8, 81, 18, okay? All right, what does the collective need to know? What is in a collective energy? So, long-term view. Paying attention to what these people are doing and, you know, how they moving around you. Also, you doing hard work, perseverance, being very diligent, sustainable results, investing, investing in yourself, and paying, paying attention to paying attention to your surroundings collective. Okay. What does the collective need to know? Collective, I also feel like reevaluating your situation and what's happening right here, right now for your particular situation. So patience and planning and beginning to see the results of your hard work from waiting for something to grow. So moving away from whatever energy that was that was kind of leaving you stifled, stuck, and bored behind whatever these people were doing with themselves. We have the Page of Swords here, a new idea coming out of nowhere, curiosity, a thirst for knowledge, new ways of communicating, feeling restless, and mental energy. So gaining knowledge of oneself and the world around you, seeking your own truth. That is not being a people pleaser and also not being a yes 
yes man to anybody. Knowing what they are, spotting the, the snakes and the red flags, and also pointing them out. So a new way of communicating where it happens at is where it gets dealt with at, okay? So asking lots of questions, making sure that you're very clear, like we talked about, and also experiencing positive change and forward movement in your situation, exploring new ways of thinking, meaning, okay, this happened, I saw this, and perception, what's my perception or what's my uh, perspective of this situation, and moving on and moving forward. So we have the high priestess here, trusting your intuition. You are not off base. You see exactly what's happening and you see what what's, what's you're very aware, okay? So sacred knowledge, the subconscious mind, divine feminine, making sure you trust yourself, your intuition, and trusting that you know what that you know that you know, okay? Being sensitive to people's feelings, people's emotions. But I don't mean sensitive as in like emotional sensitive. I mean picking up the shit, like the bullshit or the, the energy that they're, you know. So being very sensitive about your energy and knowing that, yeah, it didn't feel right, so it ain't right. Purity and high morals being there. So also knowing things like before it happens, okay, you said this person was going to do that. And yes, they did exactly what it was that you thought they were going to do. So it wasn't a shock or a surprise to you. Knowing far more than you think or far more than what people think that you actually know collective is actually a thing. Okay. We have the emperor here. So respect, leadership, stability, structure, rules, and power. I'm getting that people look up to you, collective. Also, you are respectable. You're a very respectable person, a very stand-up person, okay? So power, authority, a father figure, could be a boss daddy around here. Somebody that's very protective of their loved ones, very in control of their emotions, like I talked about over here, being very disciplined, very fo focused, and very practical in their situations. This person is very logical and they work off reason and common sense, okay? So it ain't like, okay, we're going to be emotional around here anyway because we got to make it make sense. And when we make it make sense, then we can have proper communication, okay, collective? All right, so what else is it that the collective needs to know? Okay, so we have celebrations with positive friendships and letting go of negativity. So three of cups, celebrations, friendships, collaboration, creativity, friend, new friendships, community, and happiness. So I'm getting a vibe of you letting things go, people, places, things that no longer serve you. And now you're coming into an energy of this, these are my people. This, these are my soul tribe. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. And this is where I'm supposed to be at. So a very happy feeling pertaining to the new group that you either met or is coming in, but either, but you're looking forward to it. So reaping the rewards and accomplishing your goals, um, knowing that things are actually playing out the way that it should. So feeling very positive and just living in the moment, okay, is very important collective. Then we have a King of Cups energy out here. Somebody that's emotionally balanced, very compassionate, very diplomatic, very much in control and of their feelings. Like it, this whole reading is like, okay, you got stabbed in the back, but honestly, it's like you already expected it. You already expected whatever this person was going to do. It didn't surprise you. Okay. It's almost like, um, okay. So classic, classic, this person, classic, whatever the energy was. So it's not a surprise. You're not really worried. So very much in control, very much balanced. Um, this person is a very supportive leader. So if it happens to someone else, you're being supportive over their situation and, you know, them, whatever this was. Meanwhile, being very tolerant and empathetic towards other people. And again, maintaining control over yourself and your situation. You're not letting it bother you. Okay. All right. Give me some more cards for the collective, please. Give me more cards for the collective. Um, also, I wanted to say before I started shuffling, getting justice for your situation, because what was at the bottom of the deck a minute ago was, um, justice. So bringing fairness and balance into the situation and the hierophant coming in, definitely it's like get stability, um, institutions, traditions, religion, society, and its rules, um, social approval and conformity, forgiveness, bonded, mercy, wisdom, and trust. 
conforming conforming uh, you're not being a yes man you're making sure that everybody knows that what's gonna happen is what's gonna be what's gonna happen and what's gonna be is gonna be what's gonna be and you're gonna say what you're gonna say okay and it doesn't matter so whatever happened collective it's more or less like you're not letting people just get away with bad behavior at all period anymore you're not allowing that it's not acceptable so making sure that people follow the rules around you and when it pertains to you so you're not backing down and you're not letting people slide because feeling stabbed in the back and you know snakes around you making sure that people realize like you're on the path you're on your journey to healing yourself and you just don't got time for whatever it is they trying to play or whatever it is they trying to pull it's not for you okay all right give me a card for the collective please what i say justice card coming out and then we have death, an ending, an ending to a situation. Like literally somebody tried playing your face is what it looks like. And you kind of put a stop to it right then and there. So justice, fairness, truth, clarity, equality, balance, cause and effect. Um, somebody handing you the scissors and you basically cutting them off. This is what you're going to get because I don't got time. So a death, an ending to situations person place thing so some change and some transformation a metamorphosis and the end of a cycle you're done with that you're done with whoever this is that tried that you know little slick ass move it's over hova and you're done so things coming into balance making sure that you're following the rules making sure that your character that you play the main character in your life and that your character matches your actions so walking your walk talking your talk making sure that you're in alignment with what you want and where you want to go so look how strong this bottom line is like it's almost like healing heart you definitely came into your own you came into you know like it's like i have arrived and i'm not taking no shorts so if that's what you're trying to give just go but meanwhile so cutting off them frenemies or those people who trying to play with you like it's giving me don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it you not to be played with collective okay so this is the reader hopefully it helps if you wish to donate towards my channel all the links are in the description box below and go with God.